Well, we have today with us uh, Diane Peters, the General Counsel from uh, Creative Commons. Hello, Diane. Hello. So uh, this is, um, we've heard that the uh, Creative Commons version 4 licenses are coming out and we just wanted to catch up with you to see what were the highlights uh, kind of changes uh, in that stack and particularly the ones that might um, sort of uh, affect the use of data. Uh, I'd heard that you know that you had um, taken some effort to map the CC licenses back to um, the European Union's uh, special database, right? Is that correct? We're really pleased that the Creative Commons 4.0 licenses will map back and track into and allow the licensing of those special rights where they exist. Okay. So, what else do you think is um, is a highlight in the uh, that you know, particularly from data point of view? I hear they've been talking about simplification of um, attribution that might be relevant if I've got a database and I've uh, I'm pushing it out to people in using some API. I've heard, you know people previously have said to us that that's it can be tricky. Then you know where do you put the attribution? So there's been some work done on that. Is that right? Yes, you're absolutely right, Adrian. We've done um, a lot of work on the attribution requirements. They are now more flexible, easier for licensees to understand. Um, above all, the attribution requirements are now all reasonable to the means, medium, and context so that you could, for example, to your example, include a simple link to a resource with all of the relevant information as opposed to having to um, load all of that information onto and adjacent with the actual work. Yes, because people, you know, if you're making a query into a database, you don't want to have at every query having to put in, and yes, some of this data was supplied to us generously by X, and that can all be done uh, at a link at the, in the portal somewhere else. That sounds pretty good. Yes, a link or, or a link or any other place for that matter. But yes. Okay. Good. Good. Well, I can see lots of applications to that for the the data community. Um, what about the uh, uh, data and content mining? I hear you've uh, made some progress in that area as well. Well, as much progress as one can make in such a complicated area but we have made a lot of progress. Um, our licenses are very clear about granting permissions needed to mine data and text to the extent those are you know, controlled or restricted by copyright or other kinds of rights that are closely related. So if you see a CC license on a database, you can rest assured that you can mine that database consistent with the other restrictions of the license under CC. Good, so that makes it clear that you can use the thing and if there are other laws, you know, about privacy for example, um, then you have to obviously take those into account separately from the license thing, but at least these uh, version 4 things will make it very clear that at least you've got the, the right, when you have the right to use it or not, so that at least brings that much clarity into that into that area, which is good, and it's a, a really big burgeoning area of uh, research, so we're really pleased that you've been clarifying that as well. Um, so what, what, what are the timelines for, for these things, these kind of changes, uh, Diane, and if people want to be involved, how do they get involved? Our timeline is as long as it takes us to get it right but we hope to publish the final version of the legal code um, at quarter two of 2013, so a little more than a month and a half, two months from now. There are some technical issues we have to take care of. We have to update the deeds and the chooser and those related items, but once those are all ready to go with new, very robust FAQs around how the license operates, we expect to be online and ready for publication by quarter two. How to participate, there are myriad ways. We're very happy to have um, a really healthy uh, license development discussion list. So please subscribe to that list. You can find that easily under the Contacts tab on our Creative Commons main webpage. Um, you can also watch our blog. 
the, our blog on our main page will feature the main events that are happening around the licenses. And then, of course, our wiki, if you care to contribute directly, is a great way to really get into the nitty-gritty of the licenses, share your intimate views about how the licenses will or will not work for your jurisdiction. Um, we monitor those daily, myriad ways to contribute. Terrific. Well, it's really good news, actually, particularly from the data community that, you know, you're being able to uh, address, you know, things like uh, attribution in, in big complex data systems, data mining, the warranties, all that. It's very, very good news and, uh, you know, all strength to your arm. And uh, if people want to get more information on this, we have a, a longer version of this um, uh, conversation with Diane on the ANS website. Thanks very much, Diane, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, when the licenses come out. Thanks very much, Adrian, and thanks, Baden. All right, ta-da.